We designed the base lantern legs to be versatile, but to also pack down flat. You can put the base lantern directly on the table for intimate lighting. You can unfold the legs and raise it up off the table to get a big area light. And then for task lighting, you can tilt the light or hang it upside down like a light bulb from a hook or a tree. We're using stainless steel for three reasons in the base lantern. One, it's thinner than any plastics. Two, it adds to the overall durability of the product. And three, it doubles as a heat sink, making the LEDs run more efficiently. RGB is Base Lantern's colored light mode. Each individual LED inside the lantern is actually made up of three colors, red, green, and blue. When you combine those together in different values, we can create an entire color spectrum. So you can do things like a warm yellow light, dark red for night vision, a cool soothing blue, or anything in between. And you can add party mode effects to cycle through all the colors. The base lantern lenses have over 40,000 procedurally generated cones, and I modeled them all. Unlike halogen bulbs that are used in traditional flashlights, our LEDs are designed to be used for thousands of hours and do not need to be replaced. In Base Lantern, we have an internal rechargeable lithium-ion battery that can be recharged via micro USB for the lifetime of the product. Yes, you can take the Base Lantern on an airplane. FAA regulations state that any battery in equipment um, under 100 watt hours can be taken in carry-on or in checked luggage. Bluetooth Low Energy is actually very different from previous versions of Bluetooth. Previous versions of Bluetooth were designed for outputting a large amount of data, like audio or files. Bluetooth Low Energy is designed to just put a tiny little bit of data, like the brightness of a lantern. And it uses almost no energy in the process, down to 1% of the energy of previous versions of Bluetooth. For that reason, it's the perfect solution for a mobile smart grid like the base lantern. The range for proximity activation is between 50 to 100 feet. It'll change depending if you have something between the lantern and your phone. For that reason, we recommend putting the phone in the outside pocket of your backpack when you return back to camp. We use the Nordic NRF51822 system on a chip. It combines an ARM processor with a Bluetooth radio, making our lives as programmers easier and using less energy in the process. We designed the base lantern from the beginning to be hackable. We use standard Bluetooth services, making it easy for anyone to talk to the base lantern. If you know how to make an app, you can talk to the base lantern. Thanks for all your questions, and we hope you enjoy the base lantern.